Okay, uh, first of all, I'd like to wish Coach Dye a happy 80th birthday. Uh, pretty special day for him. Uh, helmet stickers from the game. Uh, offensively, it was Bo Nix, 300-plus uh, uh, yards passing, had a rushing touchdown, really felt like he played his best game. So that was good. Uh, Owen Popo was our defensive helmet sticker, six uh, tackles, uh, made one of the big plays of the game at the very end, putting pressure on that last play to force a uh, interception. And Jacob Quattlebaum uh, was in place of Bill Taylor on uh, field goals and, um, and extra points and had really good snaps and did a solid job with that. So those were our three helmet stickers for uh, the Ole Miss game. Um, we've had two, two good days of practice. Uh, really, same formula has been the last um, you know, off week as far as our Tuesday and our Wednesday. Uh, it's been a lot of positive energy, a little head start on our opponent. At the same time, uh, healing up has been a big priority too for a lot of our top guys. It's been a very physical stretch. And uh, so we're healing those guys up. Tomorrow we'll practice again, and then we'll give our guys off the weekend just like we did last time and come back Sunday and uh, be ready to go for game week routine. Questions? You didn't scrimmage on Tuesday, did you? No, no, we didn't. You know, we're getting close to the end of the year. We'll do that once we get to bowl prep and all that. And, uh, you know, some of those young guys are either a part of special teams or given this depth, you know, in this, these last three um, games. Yes, what, what did you say to Harold Joyner? I had the physical run, and then and yeah. you got the helmet on the ball for the fumble, but came back with a big play. What did you see out of him that, that maybe you, you liked from, from Saturday? Yeah, you know, he did some Wildcat last year, uh, practiced all the Wildcat stuff, uh, you know, during the week, did a good job. And, you know, really that was his first rodeo in prime time as far as, you know, carrying the football in a big moment. And, you know, he read it really good. We just got a hold on the football. And then he came back and really responded uh, came out of the backfield on a wheel route, really avoided the flat defender, did a good job. And, and uh, you know, Jackson, uh, Shedrick Jackson did a super job on that play too, deserves a lot of credit. But but uh, Harold did a good job. He protected the football. The guy tried to come from the back, and he had the awareness to put two hands on the ball and ended up making really one of the, the plays of the game. Uh, he's doing better. He's practiced the last two days, uh, as, as did Jeremiah Denson too. So, really, you know, hoping we'll have those guys back ready to go full throttle on Sunday. Is Bill Taylor going to be able to play? Uh, you know, at this point, um, th there's a chance he will not. Uh, but like I said, you know, Clark Smith and Quattlebaum, both are guys that you know we uh, we trust, and uh, we're hoping to get Clark back before the end of the season. Yes, what have you seen out of, out of Bill? Or Bill? I'm sorry. Yeah. What have you seen out of Booby? Uh, Booby, um, he's healthier than he was last week. I still can't say he's 100% right now, but he's been practicing and uh, you know practicing with a knee brace and everything goes with it. Our goal is that he'll be back you know 100% before we play Georgia, and uh, so we'll continue to to, to strive for, towards that. If he comes back and he's ready to go, does he go to the number one spot right away? You, you know, I think right now what you see is is uh, we got a handful of guys that are playing. At a high level, and uh, but I will say this: I mean, if he comes back ready, 100 percent, I mean, obviously he's going to help us. I think everybody knows that, and um, you know, DJ's been doing a really good job, at, as well as Cam and Shivers. I mean, I think they've done a solid job when they've been called upon too. What's really impressed you most about DJ these last two games? He held on the football. Uh, you know, anytime you've got a, a true freshman that's really in prime time for the first time. You're concerned about holding on the football, and he's done that in two big games, and he's he's got the workload in two big games too. And you know he'll get nothing but better. Um, you know he's a real football savvy guy, and uh, you know he he can break tackles. He's tough to tackle one on one. He's got really good balance, and um, so you know I've been real encouraged with his start. You know of uh, carrying the football. What's that say about him to really do that? His first real action coming. Yeah. Yeah, it's, it says a lot, I think. It says a lot about uh, his capability in the future of what he can do. Yes, you said Bo was the, the offensive player. What what do you see out of his game that, that you like and saw him for the win? You know, just really uh, a comf he was comfortable. Um, you know, he changed a lot of protections. He, he changed some plays. Uh, we got in pace. Uh, he did a good job with his decision-making, uh, you know, as far as that goes. And, 
I think, you know, we had a few drops too that I think if we would have caught the ball, I think it would have been a better night. But, uh, you know, protected the football through the air. Obviously, the fumble and the exchange with him and DJ, we got to clean that up. But I thought he had one of his best games, if not his best game. Was there more of that on his plate Saturday about changing things at the line of scrimmage being at home? Yeah. Oh, yeah. It's, it's a different world at home. I mean, there's no doubt, especially, and even, you know, whether you're a veteran or, or a true freshman. But, uh, you know, it, it's, it's comfortable. Uh, for him, and uh, like I said, he played well, and, and that's very encouraging. Have you seen, seen signs in, in him since then that, that that was a big, big, big deal for him to come back and, and, and his confidence? Yeah, yeah. The, there, there's no doubt, you know. And he really, to be honest with you, you know, coming back off the tough, tough outing against LSU, um, he really never flinched during practice. I mean, he was the same guy, and probably more determined and. He was just really determined to get on the field and, and get back in the flow, and uh, and he did that. And uh, you know, so that's that's encouraging. And just keep keep pressing. He's had two good days of practice, and I think every every practice and every game, you know, he feels more comfortable. What did you see from Nick Bonds? Nick Nick snapped the ball. His snaps were really good. I mean, that's really where it starts. And. Uh, Thought he did a good job. He tried to play physical football. Um, I think he directed us to the right people uh, the majority of the night, and uh, I thought he thought he had a had a really good night. Defensively, uh, Derek Hall had to get that start for Marlon. Yeah. We've seen Jared Handy a lot more recently. Just how important it is for those two freshmen to get in that rotation? You know, I think it's very important. I mean, they got a chance to play in some big moments in the game, and. Of course, you know, Derek starting and, and Derek, you know, before he got hurt was really coming on. Now he's starting to get back and, you know, I think he's playing at a high level right now and, you know, there's nothing better than depth this time of year. Yeah, I mean, I, I think this day and time, you know, usually you only play one quarterback and, you know, this day and time there's quarterbacks that leave and all that and strategically you've got to, uh, you know, be prepared for that. And uh, each year is different, and I think you see that more and more each year, you know, that uh, you just got to be prepared. I know the team, the you know, guys are obviously not focusing on those coaches. How, how deep are you guys in the preparations for Georgia? What have you noticed about it? Well, really, it, it's similar to what we did in Arkansas. Um, you know, we've spent half the time probably preparing for them, half the time cleaning up and just trying to be sharp with the things. Uh, when you see them, I mean, you see a, a very talented team. You know, one of the one of the more talented teams in our league. And that's what jumps out to you. You know, when you watch film. Their defense comparable to anybody, or the, this the best defense you may have faced so far? You know, the, the, I'd say they're very talented. That's probably the best way to to say right now is they're a very talented defense. At this point, is there anything that Derek Brown does that surprises you with what he's done week after week? Well, you know, when when he made that uh, that play in open space, you know, I had my my head turned around, and I thought he dropped out of and made a play, but he came off the sideline, and that was a, a pretty good play. So, uh, no, not much anymore surprised me. It surprised that running back, I think. <laughs> yeah, you know, I wouldn't want I mean, that poor running back. I, you know, like what happened? Rodriguez, Rich Rodriguez was surprised too. I bet he was. I, I was surprised too. I think everybody was. I think you were surprised. <clears throat> Uh, I'm going to do the same thing and recruit, uh, get a little extra time, um, you know, to um, to look at things and be a little more specific. So it's always good to kind of catch your breath. And, you know, we have a routine, you know, as far as our Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday routine. Then you get to Friday and you recruit. And uh, Saturday you can kind of finalize things. And the goal is that we get back Sunday and we have our game plan complete. So that way you can kind of really already have everything ready as far as your practice scripts and everything goes. And then you can kind of evaluate and slow down and watch every game that they've had this year and, and kind of get a feel. So that's always really the best thing for me during a, a, a bye week to get some extra time just to kind of see things big picture. No CBS. I'm sorry, no CBS New York trip this go around? No, no, not this time. How frustrating if that's the right word is it to – to have quarterback has, as you call it, his best yeah. game, and he looks like he played as well, pretty well on offense, yeah. and still ends up having to be in, a, in kind of a, a, a fourth quarter game and yeah. not score as many points. Yeah, I mean it's disappointing we didn't we didn't score more points. That was that was disappointing. I think that as long as you win, you can learn from it what you did. But uh, 
you know, getting the ball in the end zone a few times. That fumble was probably big right there. I think we'd have scored there. Um, made a, made a field goal or two would have helped. Uh, but uh, but when you take away that and you look at the big picture, I see us improving, and uh, we actually got in some rhythm. We had some uh, some short throws that kind of got us in pace. Um, so there were some good things that happened Saturday. You know, when you look at it, big picture. How did Nick Brahms kind of grade out? What do you think about that? Yeah, he graded out really good, and I was real pleased. And you know, you can tell that he's he's farther ahead than he was last year when he played, which has to be expected. But you know, the big thing for me was just really the operation. You know, snapping the football and and having a clean operation so the quarterback can comfortably run the offense and not have to worry uh, about that. And, and really, that was accomplished. Yeah, he was solid in that facet. Yeah, sure. Very, very. Now that there's three games left plus a full game, are there any uh, true freshmen that you know, may, maybe haven't really seen the field much this year that might get more of an opportunity? You know, I think the big thing for us is just making sure that, uh, you know, we are making sure the people that need to redshirt are redshirt. We'll see how it goes. we got guys that have been practicing, you know, twos and threes as far as special teams, offense and defense. But, you know, we, we're pretty much locked in, you know. And for the most part, like I said, hopefully we'll get back Sunday and have everybody pretty much healthy uh, other than our deep snappers a possibility. And this late in the year, I think that's that's a good thing. Yeah, yeah, we're, we're going to. Um, you know, he, we think, and we recruit him, and we think he's got a chance to be a real special player. And so it's unfortunate he's been, um, you know, he's still rehabbing. Now it's going good, but, you know, we're hoping by the bowl weeks and all that, get him out there and, and do some things. But, uh, you know, we're real excited about him in the future. Is it a possibility to play in the bowl game? Or just I, I, you know, I don't know. I mean, I, I, just, uh, I, I need to get to kind of that spot, and then I can be a little more direct. Is there some confidence? Knowing now that there's four games left, probably at most, that if you were to get in some kind of difficult situation, you can you, almost everybody's available to you if, if they if they could be in a position to help you. Yeah, for the most part, yeah, that that, that, is, that is accurate for the most part, and you know, um, yeah, that's good. Anything else? All right, thank you all. Thank you.